to another dreary, damp, drizzly, dreary day here in Scotland and more specifically at Loch Lomond. Yes, I'm back here again <laughs> for a few reasons. One, because I live here. Two, because oh, in the comments to my last video, somebody left a really lovely, well-meaning comment um, saying that, you know, now that I have this kind of setup why don't instead of photographing birds all the time i go on safari to photograph you know lions and tigers they suggested the masai mara in kenya you know they suggested india and i was like you know i'd love to i really would but um i checked up my bank account and she said no it's been my dream to go to the masai mara in kenya since i was really really wee so you know hopefully one day if i don't really see it happening anytime soon i'm stuck with Scotland's wildlife. Fortunately for me, maybe unfortunately for you if that doesn't excite you, each to their own. But I thought that I would make a point today of coming down to Loch Lomond to show off my appreciation for my local wildlife and to hopefully inspire you guys to appreciate your own local wildlife, whether you are lucky enough to have your local wildlife be tigers or elephants or giraffes, whatever, or if you like me are you know, <laughs> stuck with gulls and ducks and pigeons. Um, I wanted to show that, you know, while objectively seeing a lion is cooler than seeing a pigeon, it doesn't mean that seeing the pigeon isn't, you know, doesn't have its coolness too. <laughs> That's the point of today's video. That's the point of coming back to Loch Lomond. I'm sorry if you guys are a little bit fed up with seeing it because I have came here with my camera quite a few times now but this is this is where I live this is the wildlife that I have access to as you can see lighting conditions are not the best it is January in the west of Scotland we don't get much sunlight <laughs> you know the sun rises to a point and then it's just kind of like okay that's me done a lot of you guys on my last video suggested using auto ISO which is something that I never considered before I am using or trying out auto ISO today, focusing on shutter speed and aperture. And the camera that I'm doing that on is my Canon EOS 80D. Um, and attached to that, I have my Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary lens. I'm gonna go see what of Loch Lomond's wildlife I can photograph. Yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> Already, I've seen something which I consider to be pretty cool. I'm sorry if they're they're not lions, just as little black specks in the distance. Just as little, just as little black specks in the distance, I see some tufted ducks, which I've actually never seen before in person. So that's exciting for me. They are quite far away, so I'm going to just try and get them in a picture. <laughs> I honestly love them. They look like they have little mullets and it's the cutest thing ever. Um, you probably won't be able to see it very clearly in my picture but if you want to Google a tufted duck because you'll see their little mullets and it's the best. Today I'm also, um, I've done it in the past although it's it's not a habit yet. I've been trying out using the back button focus which um, for those of you, sorry, for those of you who don't know Oh, I can't do this one-handed. It is this button where you can kind of see it says AF on or for you it says no FA. That's purely just kind of its uh, preference as opposed to just pressing the shutter half down. I've been trying that out and I'm actually really enjoying it. Although, like I said, using the shutter is a habit for me. So I'm just gonna keep trying them both to see um, what I prefer in the long run. I was lucky enough to get the biggest poser of a robin <laughs> to model for me. Um, they sat in front of me for ages, working different angles, and I think I've got um, some nice sharp shots of it. So I'm looking forward to seeing those because <laughs> they were just like Loch Lomond's next top model. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Guys, 
I finally, finally got a Gassander and it's definitely a Gassander. <laughs> like, I'm 100% confident. Just also got um, a few shots of a pied wagtail. Again, it's wiggle on. That's super cute. It's just giving itself a little bath and a little shimmy. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> So some old dude just came along with a big loaf of bread so um, you can imagine it was pandemonium. That's the only way to see it. There's a lot more goose sanders now and behind me cute little moorhen just chilling out. Although I'll just clarify now that I am in no means promoting using um, human food to attract wildlife. You should not do it. You also should not feed bread to ducks and swans and other waterfowl. Um, despite what your grandparents might have had you do as a kid. <laughs> um, it's not good for them, just to clarify. I um, don't agree with that. Yeah. I think next time that I do one of those um, how many species can I photograph in an hour challenges because I had a lot of fun and wanted to do it again I will definitely come here <laughs> because I've seen quite a lot of stuff maybe if I hit 5,000 subscribers this year I could do another one if you like that video um, subscribe What I'm trying to say um, with me implementing a lot of you guys' advice is that I am 100% um, eager to learn from you guys. You know, this channel isn't like other wildlife photographers who are, you know, so good, <laughs> so professional. I am a beginner, I'm still learning, so I'm not making these videos with the intention of teaching you guys how to be wildlife photographers if that makes sense I'm literally just doing it to share my love for this hobby which I've just recently discovered in the last year and to share my love of wildlife which is something that um, I've had my entire life. <laughs> for fear of sound, making this sound really really cheesy and corny is that the final image is not that important to me so some of the shots that I will show you guys will not be up to your personal standards well maybe not even be up to mine but it's for the intention of showing off the wildlife rather than the quality of the photograph if that makes any sense <laughs> obviously i want to get better images i want to get better at taking really sharp good shots great composition great lighting everything oh, obviously that's that's a goal but for me getting a good shot or a good final image is just a bonus <laughs> what i love so much about wildlife photography isn't so much you know going home and seeing what I put them on my laptop and seeing what they look like it's more being out there and seeing the wildlife and studying them through the camera and seeing them in detail and spending time with them and that really does sound so cheesy but I just wanted to make that clear that at no point am I claiming to be an expert or even claiming to be any good I just love to share my love for wildlife and for wildlife photography now so I just thought I would put that out there as well as an invitation for you guys to 100% critique my images and give me advice as long as you're doing it in a constructive way because there's nothing worse than for someone who's just learning a hobby who's just learning how to do something if people come on and are really nasty and are really presenting a lack of encouragement. I don't know if that's a good phrase to use. But yeah, I just thought I would put that disclaimer in because I don't think I've talked about it so much. Yeah, you're more than welcome to give me advice and as I have kind of proven, 
today I will definitely implement it I will listen I'm here to learn as much as here to show the wildlife anyway back to it <laughs> I have just spotted through the trees something really really exciting and I'm gonna just have to make my way through either thicket or bog to try and photograph them but this is oh my god I really hope I can because this is a really exciting thing if I photograph them I will let you see them if not I'll tell you what what it is afterwards oh, do I go through it try and climb through the trees all right I'll see you in a minute <laughs> right in front of me just through right there are one two three but five or six mandarin ducks and this is so exciting to me because i've been looking out for these guys for months coming here trying to find them and i've just spotted them and they're right there and they're oh they're so beautiful for those of you who don't know mandarin ducks are not native to the uk um they're technically an invasive species and they have kind of got a bit of a population going here just from escaping from collections the stronghold was mostly down in the south of england but they have somehow managed to make their way up to loch lomond and i'm so excited that i found them they are a bird that's native to asia um and they just are absolutely stunning when they've got their winter plumage the males are so colorful just must be the most colorful bird that we've got here in the uk so i'm so excited that i've seen them oh my god I just, I saw them and my heart just stopped. Um, there looks to be like four males and one female. The female is like the grey one, um, like in a lot of, just the dog behind me, like in a lot of birds, the males are the ones that have got the colour. And oh, I'd literally climbed through trees and spikes and thorns to get down to see there was a dog doing a, doing a poo behind me. I can honestly not overstate how happy this has made me to spot these guys so I think I will be here for a while photographing them. I might creep closer but there's lots of spikes and thorns and I might do that. It's worth it. <laughs> you know I've been jagged <laughs> several times my feet are freezing because I'm literally pretty much in the loch but my heart is so full and I'm so happy watching these guys and I don't want to leave <laughs> like I just don't want to leave them I know that what I was saying at the beginning of the video that pigeons and mallard ducks and gulls can be cool but seeing these guys is also just really really exciting and also just I feel fulfilled because I've been looking for them for so long and now I finally found them <laughs> I feel like I'm the human personification of the heart eyes emoji right now. <laughs> I definitely don't see myself leaving these guys anytime soon so I thought that I would just end the vlog with them. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will maybe see you next time. Bye!